On October 31st, 1860, in Savannah, Georgia, Juliet Gordon Lowe would come into the world and her birth would go on to shape countless generations of young girls for decades to come. What is the Girl Scouts organization and how did it start? This is The Intellectualist bringing you knowledge. In 1911, Juliet Gordon Lowe would join the Girl Guides in England, UK. After a chance encounter with the founder of scouting, Robert Baden Powell, she would later on form her own group of girl guides in Great Britain. Moving back to the United States in 1912, she would help bring the practices of her group with her to the States and form another group there in her hometown of Savannah, Georgia. Just three years later on, the name of the group would be changed to the modern day title of Girl Scouts. Juliet would stay active as the leader until her death in 1927 at the age of 66. Her original vision for the U.S.-based groups of scouts in Savannah was to teach them many skills and practices that could help the first group of 18 help their community in various ways, experiencing the outdoors, and have the opportunity to develop self-reliance and resourcefulness. In 1913, the Girl Guides would change their name to Girl Scouts of the United States and moved its headquarters to Washington, D.C. Two years later, the organization would be incorporated and relocated the headquarters once again to New York City, New York. Finally reaching its modern day name in 1947, they would be called the Girl Scouts of America. The program was originally intended for girls between the ages of 10 to 18, however it was subsequently divided into multiple age groups. The groups consisted of the Brownies ages 7 to 9, Intermediate Scouts ages 10 to 13, and senior scouts ages 14 to 18. Over the years, the age groups and scout levels would go over many more changes until reaching its current day arrangement. As of current day, there are now 112 Girl Scout Councils in the U.S. Goals of the Girl Scouts are their promise, law, motto, and slogan. The promise, on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. The law, I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. The original law, written by Juliet herself, was as follows. A Girl Scout's honor is to be trusted. A Girl Scout is loyal. A Girl Scout's duty is to be useful and to help others. A Girl Scout is a friend to all and a sister to every other Girl Scout, no matter to what social class she may belong. A Girl Scout is courteous. A Girl Scout keeps herself pure. A Girl Scout is a friend to animals. A Girl Scout obeys orders. A Girl Scout is cheerful. A Girl Scout is thrifty. The motto, be prepared. The slogan, do a good turn daily. The emblem, which was originally designed by Juliet personally, was used up until 1980. As of current day, there are over 212 skill badges, as well as 42 journey awards, and various other badges and achievements that can still be earned even later on as an adult. In its history, the organization has had over 25 presidents, the first being Juliet Gordon Lowe herself, and the present day being Kathy Hopinka Hanna. In its lifetime, the organization has gone on to grow and be known for a place where anyone can join and learn real skills and badges recognizing achievements in said skills and categories ranging all the way from animal care, first aid, computer programming, space science, camping, financing, business ownership, robotics, gardening, and the list goes on and on. In 2011, President Barack Obama would approve the minting of 350,000 silver dollar coins in commemoration of the over 50 million women influenced by the organization and the 100 year anniversary under the Girl Scouts of the USA Commemorative Coin Act. The group is preceded by its sibling group, the Boy Scouts of America, which is just two years older.
In summary, Juliet would return to the U.S. in 1912, and her actions would go on to influence and educate over a hundred years of generations of young girls, women, and adults, amassing over 50 million in total as of 2011 and many more since then. She was born in Savannah, Georgia in 1860 and passed away on January 17, 1927 at age 66. Having achieved a lifetime of accomplishments, she is now resting in Colic, St. Savannah, Chatham, Georgia. To quote her, Badges mean nothing in themselves, but they mark a certain achievement, and they are a link between the rich and the poor. For when one girl sees a badge on a sister scout's arm, if that girl has won the same badge, it at once awakens an interest and sympathy between them. This is The Intellectualist. Keep learning. Knowledge is power.